This season, the Montana State women's basketball team has been riddled with injury, creating a next one up mentality. And nobody's personified that more than Natalie Picton. She's a true freshman who's had to step in as the starting point guard since the beginning of the season. She's made an instant impact, and well, the rest of the big sky, they already know to watch out. Starting point guard. Oh my gosh. It was during a film session and we were sitting in there and I didn't even know that um, I was going to be put in that position until I looked at the scouting report and my name was on it and I got so nervous and I was like, I was ready for it but I didn't know it was going to come so fast. The moment came just after exhibition play, right before the season officially opened against BYU. Sophomore Dylan Phillips suffered what was now announced as a season-ending injury during that time, prompting Picton to step into the role as floor general as her college career was just beginning. When Dylan, after that second exhibition, um, was not able to go and she, she kind of had the spot, it was it was kind of like, well, this is what we need and what we have to have. And now Binford and her staff don't look at Picton as a true freshman anymore. She's found her voice to facilitate their offense because of the veterans believing in her. Just Dylan sitting on the sidelines and like from her experience her first year and she's been really helping me gain my confidence and just with all the seniors on the court helping me also, it's really made me, I don't know, become more confident. Picton hails from Ontario and played high school basketball at Niagara Prep and on the circuit for the Kia Nurse National EYBL team. She ultimately landed on Montana State because of Binford and her ability to coach smaller guards at an elite level. She was one of my main factors of committing here just because she knows how to coach smaller point guards and I think it's really hard to find coaches that understand like undersized guards and like how to coach them to like be the best. She's definitely a, a sponge, you know, she's a da daughter of a coach, right? So her dad's her coach um, and she's got a super high IQ. And when you can see eye to eye instead of looking up super high, you just see the game similarly. Natalie's father, David, was a standout guard during his playing career, which spans from a national championship in college with Brock University to Canada's national team, as well as professionally in Germany. He then moved on to coach girls basketball. And as the head coach for Niagara Prep, he trained his daughter for years. He um, knows the game more than I do. So in my upper years, in like high school area, I started listening to him and started like doing what he was asking me to do. And I think that's really expanded my game. And we've just grown so close now that I'm here because he can see me like leave, living out my dream. A dream that's come true in just her first year in Bozeman. She's found a way to step in to big shoes which is something the entire freshman class has had to do as the teams had to deal with a handful of season-ending injuries. It's funny because that freshman class is so tight and they're like best friends, but you're seeing them kind of now coming into the, the coaching role with each other versus just the best friend role. With these injuries, we've just gotten so close and we like, we had to, like everybody had to step up and having a relationship off the court really is helping us on the court. In Bozeman, Grace Lawrence, MTN Sports.